Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a really wide range of engines, simply, safely and quickly. The videos show the key working steps for workshop professionals. My name is Stefan Meyer and I'll show you a different vehicle engine in each video. Okay, let's get going. Well, today I've got something new for you. So far we've dealt with engines using timing belts. Today we're going to look at an engine with a timing chain. I have here a VW Polo 9N, a three-cylinder 1.2-liter engine delivering 40 kilowatts, engine code BMD, from the 2005 model year. We require our chain kit TC1003K1 for this. To access the chain drive, first remove the air filter, the engine cover and the underbody protection panel, then the right wheel housing liner, the multi-V belt including its tensioner and finally the generator and the air conditioning compressor. Lines can be left attached to the air conditioning compressor. First set the timings. Remove the sensor from the camshaft and also the speed sensor at the bottom of the flywheel. First keep turning the crankshaft slowly in the direction of engine rotation until you can see a small groove at the top of the camshaft, which is where our tool is then inserted. It should slide easily in. Insert the second locking tool at the bottom of the flywheel in place of the speed sensor. If the tool cannot be inserted into the flywheel, remove both locking tools, turn the engine through a further 360 degree and try the whole thing again. If you still can't insert the locking tools, you have to reset the timings. The customer most probably came to you because of a warning lamp. You then checked the fault code and found it to be an implausible camshaft signal. The two sensor signals no longer correspond because of chain stretch, resulting in this fault. Now reset the timings. For this, remove the timing cover and the upper camshaft sprocket. The sprocket has to be loosened. First set the camshaft and then continue turning the crankshaft until the tool can be inserted. The timings are now correct. Time to get serious with the chain. First remove the crankshaft sprocket, the oil pan and then the timing cover. The chain drive is exposed. Remove the chain for the oil pump drive. Before that, remove the tensioner, simply pull the sprocket off here at the top and let the chain hang. The next step is to slacken things off. That includes the chain. To do so, press the slide rail against the hydraulic damper and lock the damper using a 3mm hex key. Now you can change the various components. Get rid of the old stuff and fit the new parts from our timing chain kits. Use a new bolt for the new camshaft sprocket, tightening it to 20 newtons plus 90 degrees. The new components from the kit have now been fitted. Next, tension the chain. Remove this pin again from the chain tensioner by gently pressing the slide rail against it. Before reassembling the engine in reverse order, clean the timing cover and contact surfaces so they are free of oil and grease. Then fit the cover using the manufacturer-approved sealant.
Okay, almost done. You now just have to check everything has been reassembled. Follow the manufacturer's specification, particularly when it comes to the torques. Don't forget our quality mark. Place the change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment, so the customer sees that you've installed quality. Thank you.